In this personal growth video, I am going to share one of the leadership experiences which I had in my professional journey and I am sure this will also help you to navigate through your professional journey as well. So watch this video till the end where I am going to share a lot of insights which I learned through this incident. My name is Vittal and I am the founder of Lastro Club a mechanical engineer who served oil and gas industry for 22 plus years with added graduations into IT and business. I started creating content around digital space and the personal growth after exploring and learning a lot of things in these areas to help solve the challenges in the corporate area which I have personally seen and also to help professionals and the community to grow in their personal life. If you like to see such content then do like comment and share my videos within your network so that it also inspires me to create more and more such videos and do subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also follow me on linkedin to my lecture that you have to do in the year 2000 this a new year a beginning of a new year pehla hafta tha and uh, everybody was busy working in the office subeke early morning hours and uh, we were busy working and suddenly i saw someone tapped on my shoulder and uh, asked me what's your name gentlemen and i just turned back and stood up from my chair and answered him my name is vittal and this person greeted me a happy new year vittal and then he started walking slowly with his walking stick in his hand and this person was none other than Mr. Hemming of Larson, a co-founder of Larson and Tobro Limited, an engineering conglomerate in India. So I just started following him and saw that he was actually walking down all the shop floors and all the offices in that Mumbai region and he was greeting everyone on a new year. After some time when I inquired, I understood that this co-founder had a ritual that every year in the first week of Jan, he would actually visit Mumbai region and he would make sure that to the extent possible, he would actually greet each and every employee, each and every co-worker on the new year. Such a humble, down to earth and compassionate leader I have not seen in my 22 plus years comparable leadership and I could really learn a lot from that one small event in my life. I have seen that day that people were talking about him and they really carried this person in their heart not because of the paycheck what they were getting but because of this person's modesty and earthly personality have you come across such event such incident in your life such leadership in your life i would really like to hear from you in the comment section of this video and these were actually early years in my career because i started in 1998 and this was 2000 I could really learn and I feel blessed myself that I came across such leadership in my early career and because of which it actually kept a benchmark when I myself look up to leadership and I wanted to keep myself in those shoes in latter days in my career, I always used to compare myself with these people and I am really fortunate enough to get them in my life in those early days. And because of those small, small events, which I could really learn and implement in my life, I found out that I could really navigate through my professional journey in a little better way, maybe other than anybody else because of being fortunate enough of having these people in my life. So you would have seen I have created earlier also similar videos where I've shared this incident. I was about to share this event also in one of my videos for which I am creating this. Now this person 
at his age of around 92, walking all alone throughout all the shop floors and the offices that day without being escorted by anyone for his age or even for his position. He would have actually called or gathered everyone at one place and just wished everyone on the new year and uh, disports. But there is a lot of leadership qualities to learn from this person. Maybe because of these kind of leaderships, today this conglomerate is having annual turnover of more than 20 billion US dollars. This person passed away at age of 96 in 27 July 2003 to be exact. He was also, apart from many other recognitions, he, he was also recognized and honored as Padma Bhushan for his wonderful contribution to the Indian industry. And I'm sure, apart from what we could learn from other leaders and other examples, if we could really get even a small chance to learn from even a presence of such kind of leadership, I think that is one of the best blessings I could have in my journey. So moving forward, when I see myself, when I am talking about 20 plus years of journey, I personally saw that somewhere these examples were imprinted and I started following these leadership qualities and everything. I have also personally seen that when I used to travel a lot for meetings, inspections and audits, uh, even during the audits, you would also agree with me if you could relate with my domain of expertise that I used to come across different products, different manufacturing processes and with the, such a short time of audit and visit to understand everything and really go through the process very well to audit it perfectly. I have seen because of the nature and the attitude I carried, people really used to come forward and help me understand their processes, understand their products and they used to help me complete my inspections and audits. And this, I think, could be possible because of the modesty and the humble nature and the compassion what you can really carry with you so that the co-worker, the fellow employee would actually feel comfortable to talk to you and make you feel comfortable and really guide you through the process. Even I, still recall that when I used to visit China or even few of the European countries, people like I have been non-alcoholic and purely vegetarian throughout my life and specifically Chinese uh, where I used to find a lot of challenge in getting authentic vegetarian food but I never come across single visit where uh, there was uh, no one to help me and you know take me to a, a proper restaurant where I'll get a vegetarian not the big food. So I have really seen people coming forward and helping and guiding me throughout all my journey. Even today uh, some of them are still in touch and they come up with their uh, technical queries and their challenges and having no transactional relation when someone really relates with you and someone really bonds with you that's the kind of relationship which you should able to build in your professional journey that is what is very important in your professional journey so i hope this video could really add some value in your learnings and this will really help you to navigate through your professional journey in a little better way and if you really like this content I want to know your feedback and share me any of such event in your professional journey as well from which I myself can learn something and my community also can learn something. Feel free to drop your comment and I look forward to see you in my next video where I'll come up with again another story, another event where I could share, really share something more for your personal growth.